Howdy everyone, TankyDrank here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use multiple commands with a single command block like this one. So you see it said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then teleported me to the void. So guys, I'm going to show you how to do this. Be back in a minute. Alrighty guys, so how does this work? Well, basically when you hit this button, you are summoning a or an activator rail that goes right here, and a whole bunch of command minecarts that stack up on top of that, and they all get activated, run their commands, and then you're also summoning one more command block at the end that summons lava right there, which destroys them all. And yeah, you could do this just typing it yourself. It's kind of a long string here to run those six commands that I showed you. I mean, not here, I'll go all the way through this. I could be holding down control and going a lot faster through this, but I want to emphasize how long it actually is. So that's the whole command right there. And it would be hard to write without using some sort of tool. So I found a tool that was really helpful to me that allowed me to write commands like that uh, by a guy named Staffan on your YouTube. His was a .exe thing, so it worked, but it didn't really work on a lot of like Winix, <laughs> Winix, uh, Linux, uh, Mac, all those things. It didn't really work that great. But now I have one that runs using Java, and it has a nice GUI or GUI. GUI is the right term. Um, so you can use it on multiple platforms and it's very much more convenient than the other one that ran in CMD or command line, whatever you want to call it. Um, so guys, I will be back in a minute. I'll be on my desktop showing you how you can use the tool I made. Alrighty guys, so this thing is pretty sweet. I'm going to show you Staffins first. And basically, say I want to type some things in here, say 1, say 2, say 3, oops, can't fix it, that's an issue, say 3, say 4, say 5, tp at p, 0, negative 10, 0, works just like mine, puts it in this file here, that's the command, works like a charm, still, not great, so here's my program, right, oop, right there, and basically, all you have to do is go ahead and write in what commands you want. Say 1, say 2, say 3, say 4, oops, say 3, but I can go back and fix it. Say 4, say 5, say, or TP at P, 0, negative 10, 0, press F3 to convert. If you're on the Mac, press FN and F3. And there you go. And then hit copy the clipboard. Then you can go back into Minecraft and paste it in. So I'm going to do something a little different here. I'll just have it teleport the player up into the air a little bit. So here, let's do this. Say, hi, Danky Drank. Say, or TP at P. TP Danky Drank. Squiggly thing, squiggly thing. 10, squiggly thing, or tilde, whatever you want to call it. F3, copy the clipboard, and now let's go back into Minecraft. Alrighty, so here we are back in Minecraft, and all I have to do is go ahead and go in here. We're actually, here, I'll show you how to get a command block really quick for those of you who don't know how. You just do give your player name or at P137 uh, if you're in 1.7. If you're in anything later than that, you need to do Minecraft colon command underscore block. If you read that little thing there right here, that I'll show you why. And so guys, let's go ahead and plop that down, put our command in. And then put our button on there, hit it, teleports us up in the air, and says, hi, thank you, Drank. That's the scene there. And, all right. So, basically, first of all, let me also show you, if you don't want that command block output going to every admin, you can do slash game rule, command block output, false. And then when you hit it, it's not going to put anything in there except for when you use the say. So, guys, now that we have that, what I want to do 
now is show you some things where this doesn't work so great. And the first case here is where you have a block with a button on it going into that. You see it works, but it doesn't work. The activator rails aren't getting activated. Um, so if you ever give a block indirect power like this one here, um, when, by indirect power I mean there actually needs to be a redstone signal going into the block itself for it to work. You can't just have a block next to it being powered. It, I mean, it's kind of finicky, but you'll get what I mean very easily. Um, so what you're going to want to do here, if you want something like this to work, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is put a redstone block up at a diagonal to the command block like that. Hit the button, works like a charm. So guys, I hope you enjoyed using this tool and watching this video in general. And make sure you like this if you enjoyed. Uh, go ahead and check out Stefan's channel down in the bottom or in the description. There's a link to it. He makes some really cool stuff. Uh, it's a 4x4 sliding door that uses falling sand entities. So if you're big on technical Minecraft, go ahead and check him out. He's really, really good at technical Minecraft. Uh, Stefan, if you're watching this, I hope you can use that tool. I hope it benefits the community in general. And guys, I will see you later in my next video. Peace.